Nigel, it's been one week since it was confirmed that you were now the permanent manager of Tranmere Rovers. With that position now permanent, how important is the stability that provides and what are the key things that you want to see from the squad? As you rightly say, it provides stability, it gives clarity. Everyone knows there's somebody in charge, me, uh, from a manager's point of view. Uh, and obviously, from my point of view, I want total commitment from everybody. The cause is Tranmere Rovers Football Club. Be committed to it. You know, I'm committing myself to it. Everybody else needs to be committed to it. Uh, and we get, keep moving forward in the right direction. And committed, that's the word. It was a very committed performance of the weekend against Stevenage. So unfortunate to lose it later on. But what positives did you take from that performance? Well, yeah, we've, uh, we've gone away from home against a team who were in the playoffs in League One. Always going to be a challenging game with the di direct physical nature of the game. But we competed really, really well. That was what I was pleased about. We scored three goals away from home. Obviously, Luke Norris returned in 70 minutes, you know, from a, the long-term injury he had. Got on the score sheet as well. You can see the impact he had for the team. It's a shame we lost uh, Paul Lewis through injury, but Chris Merry made an impact coming off the bench. So we've got a group of players who are all, say, totally committed to the cause. A couple of good goals. Robbie Apto, who's on loan from Blackpool, scored a, a super through ball. Uh, and Kieran Morris coming off the bench, making an impact as well, scoring his goal. And in fact, we could have fine margins. You know, we're crossing the ball in the 100th plus minute where we could have scored. Keepers got it and obviously they've gone down the other end. So, uh, but for me, I saw a total committed performance and some really good football. Some really, really good football from a group of players who want to do well. Uh, so from my point of view, answering your question, I want total commitment from everybody and that's what I'm seeing. Luke Norris returned from injury against Stockport and got his first start since coming back from injury at the weekend. Um, obviously got on the score sheet as well, which is great to see. How significant can his contribution be going forward? Well, really important. Obviously, he was the marquee signing in the summer. and Obviously, he's not been able to figure as such so far. He's, he's still got a way to go for his full fitness. But obviously being involved in the games is going to help him develop that level of fitness and obviously add strength to the team. We've got a group of players who, who are understanding how they want to play as a team together, which is important. Uh, and from my point of view, Luke being involved in that is going to be really important moving forward. And talking about that understanding you know, of how the team wants to play, how much of a, of a boost is it to the other players to have a player like Luke back playing? Yeah, I think all the players have got strengths in their own merit individually. Uh, but collectively, we've got to all put them together. And obviously, the top end of the pitch, the player who's going to lead the line, the experience, the stature that he's got, um, and the goals that he can, he can bring and provide and support and assist is really important. And from my point of view, not just as well as being a good footballing player, but he's a proper man and a leader amongst a group of players. So I'm pleased about that. In terms of our league position, there's some big fixtures coming up in the league, but it's always vital, isn't it, that the focus is just on winning the next game? Yeah, totally. I mean, obviously you've got big picture thinking, you've got to look at that, but you narrow it all down, it's, it's the next game. Go win the next game. Uh, for me, it's the preparation. So the preparation through the week so far has been good. Obviously, Sun Tzu, the Art of War, understand the opposition. We know they're going to provide some strengths, some challenges that we've got. But likewise, there's things we like to think that we can give them problems with. So preparation has been good so far through the course of the week. Come game day, it's all about can you go and win it? adapt to the situations, adapt to maybe, you know, the scoreline being one way or the other, decisions going against you or for you, realise what's going on, adapt to it and do all you can to win that game of football. And then, next debrief opportunity, sit back without the emotion of being involved in the game. What's the lessons we can take from it? What did we do well at? What can we improve on? And all these things add up to give ourselves a better opportunity to go win the next game of football. So for me, answering your question, that all the focus is on ultimately win a game of football and break it all down to the next game of football as the next opportunity. And that next game on Saturday is against Forest Green Rovers. They find themselves in a similar league position to us. What have you made of them so far this season? Yeah, listen, Dave's gone in, new manager. Obviously, he's done through the academy at Southampton, doing well. They've got a philosophy on how they want to go and play and build. And obviously, sometimes it's challenging, but when it comes off, it's very, very good. So from my point of view, we'll, uh, we'll look at that and... Um, you know, we'll just we'll just focus as much as we can, understanding Forest Green Rovers, and focus on what we can do at Prenton Park to give ourselves an opportunity to win a game of football. And just lastly, could you give us an update on on team news and where our injury situation is at the moment? We've got a couple of long-term injuries now in uh, Joe Starbuck, um, who's going to be out for several weeks, and uh, unfortunately Paul Lewis picked up a hamstring injury at Stevenage, uh, and unfortunately it looks as though he's going to be out for several weeks as well. So they're the two long-term injuries. We've got one or two little niggles. 
which I'm not going to divulge at this moment in time. But as far as I'm concerned, I'd like to think everyone's put themselves forward for contention for the weekend. And obviously, we've got three games in the week. Next game's the important one. We've then got a trophy game against Wigan on Tuesday. And obviously, we've got some young players. Ben Hockenall, for example, has gone out alone at the moment. We've got some other players who need to be playing games of football. So that maybe presents an opportunity for some of them to get a game of football on Tuesday. And as well, actually, how happy were you with Chris Merry at the weekend stepping in for Paul Lewis? And you know, what does that mean to you in terms of our sort of squad depth and the quality of it? Well, it's good, Chris. Chris Merry, I really like Chris. He's just celebrated his birthday as well uh, last week. I mean, Alan Morgan. Al, Alan Morgan. Everyone can remember Alan Morgan. Fifty last week. So both on the same day. So a good, great milestones. But Chrissy Merry came on. He's a real really good talented football player you know we're grateful to have him at the football club however he's had a few little injuries and so he's maybe out of the team and he's got back in the team and he came out of the team and he's picked up something again probably because he's so committed and that's what we want we want committed players and we look after committed players as i say chris merry's uh, he's done really really well for us